Uh, just really that we have to be ready for anything. You know, uh, come out, play how we did the first couple of games, you know, come with the full intensity. Greg Logan from Newsday. Uh, Jarrett, uh, they dominated the paint uh, 64 to 24 in terms of points. Uh, what do you feel like uh, led to that this time, given how good you guys have been on defense? Uh, first, consider that or not consider, uh, kudos to them. They were hitting some tough shots in the mid range and getting to the paint, you know, at, at their will. Uh, you know, I'm going to put that on me. I have to be better in the paint, you know, defending the rim. And just for us, I think we have to be a little more aggressive. I think we we're settling for some threes that we could have drove, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, we just have to step up on both ends. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Jared. Um, obviously, with all due respect uh, to Charlotte, I mean, how disappointing would you describe the feeling about the energy level that you guys came out with first half or three quarters? And secondly, I mean, are you guys going to have to get used to getting the best shot from the opposing team, having a target on your backs? It's definitely disappointing. Just, you know, take Charlotte out of it. Just, I, like you said, no disrespect to them. Just take them out of it and just look at how we played. I think we could have played better. I know we could have played better. Excuse me. I know we could have came out and had a lot more energy. I know we weren't playing to our full potential. And being in the position that we are now, you know, we have KD, Kyrie back, and we're a full team just playing on their best. We're definitely going to have the target on their back every single game. We're definitely going to get every single team's 100%. So we have to come out there ready every single time. Malika Andrews with ESPN. I, I have two for you, Jarrett. One, I, I'm wondering if that learning to play with a target on your back, is it a learned behavior or is that some, like something you have to adjust to and get used to or is that just something that exists? Uh, from being a net all my life, it's definitely something that I'm going to have to be used to. <laughs> and so that's just, and no disrespect to us, but you know, we never were the team at the top. And we were always the underdogs fighting, looking at other people as targets. So now it's the roles are reversed. And then secondly, can you just contextualize? I know we've, we've talked about it before, but can you contextualize what Spencer means to this team? Mm -hmm. uh, he means a lot. Seeing as when Spencer is going, he can't be stopped. His offensive game, he's going downhill, creating shots for others. And even off the court, everybody loves having Spencer around. You know? His energy, just his personality is great for the locker room. So I don't know what's happening with him. So whenever he's back, whenever I know he's a strong dude, so we look kind of try to come back as quick as possible. Thank you. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, hey, Jerry, I, I'm not sure I've seen you be angry before. Uh, what happened out there uh, during that little, uh, I guess you fell on the ground and then like you were pretty upset. Can you kind of just walk through what happened? Uh, I think take it you're talking about towards the final two minutes. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I set the flare screen. I didn't, I didn't agree with the call. You know, you know how we players are. So I was looking at the ref, talking to him. I, I promise, I didn't mean anything malicious. I didn't see the guy on the ground. I was walking back, looking at the ref, and uh, somebody pushed me over, and it was a double technical. <laughs> Thank you. 